Hi there, Aries. Happy Aries season to you. Happy birthday to you. Let's find out what crystal is going to be most prominent during your Aries season. Amber. It's not a crystal or a mineral, but holds its own torch of light as the protector of light, basically. So it's very important that I include amber in with the crystals and minerals because it is an extremely powerful tool. And if it's coming to your awareness today, you are being protected. And you're being protected mostly by light, light energy. And um, that protection, and kind of think of what amber is. It's a, it's a resin, right? It's a hard resin that comes from the core of a tree, right? So if you're thinking about what amber is, it's like a, a protective coating around you. And um, I love amber. And as you can see, I've got a very nice big chunk of it here in my collection. I uh, believe in the whole power of the of the light energy with the amber. I'm not going to actually discuss um, what the liquid crystal book discusses like I usually do with this deck of cards. Because I frankly just don't feel like <laughs> Justin, the author, gave Amber enough credit in um, his book. So I'm just using my own inter intuitive um, interpretation of Amber and my uh, 10 years experience of, of holding Amber and using Amber in my crystals uh, collection and my meditation. So to me, amber is like a, considered a life force. It's the life force energy. It is the life force basically that's came from a tree 75 million years ago. So if you're holding one of these pieces, it's anywhere from 40 to 95 million years old. And to hold something in your hand that's, you know, 75 million years old, like most of these crystals and minerals, it's, um, it's, a beautiful experience and to be able to hold amber up to the sun and see its vibrant beautiful energy coming through it's just a, a very beautiful experience um it's kind of like to me i i picture amber as my imaginary gold shield and i've talked to people about this for quite a few years now i always if you get yourself into a very positive energetic state and you're feeling really good and you're about to go out into the, <laughs> that world out there, it's good to just put a whole gold shield around you. And what you're doing is you're basically keeping that positive energy within that gold shield around you and you're reflecting positive energy this beautiful light you're as you're walking around you're this beautiful light that's walking around and so to me it's like a shield because it's really hard for dark dark energy and and dark to actually enter that kind of light so just in you know kind of picture it like your invisible gold shield today so it provides a cleansing. It's a great, um, I was going to say crystal, but it's amber is perfect to have in a room to be able to uh, brighten up a room, to lighten the energy. It's all about light and life force, that light, lightness about it. The um, That's kind of why the liquid crystal book refers to amber as laughter because it's all about being light in the situation looking at the lighter side of things being light in the situation uh, maybe at work you know it can be considered a tool to help you um, not get so serious about things and so here's some healing benefits oh another thing I wanted to mention that's really important about amber is it is a magnificent animal communication tool. So if you have a lot of amber with you, it kind of is on, it kind of helps you with that connection of the animal 
uh, the animal communication. And I've read about this a lot. I personally have not experienced this because I kind of already have a natural communication with animals. But um, I have read that this is a very powerful tool to use um, in animal communication. So um, I used to actually do um, crystal healing on my dog who she passed away a couple years ago. But Amber was one of the number one things that we would have in the crystal circle when we would work on that. So, you know, it's just a powerful cleansing tool. Amber is one of the few pieces that I know that you can actually put directly on the body and it can draw out the pain and it draws out the impurities. And if anything, like even let's just say a broken arm, you put a big chunk of amber on your broken arm, your pain can be like absorbed from that. It draws out the pain. Amber actually used to be used as a pain elixir. And what they used to do is crush it up and put it as an elixir. And that's what was actually given for pain medication. It also, as crushed, it's, it was used in many versions being crushed up. And um, people would use the smoke from the crushed up of the burning of it, um, not only on a physical level because it can purify the area that you're in. So a lot of the, like you could say, uh, what do they call them? Like a medicinal tent. Like say, if you can imagine like maybe a TP type thing where you would go see a medicine doctor type thing where you have kind of like a sauna almost where you can inhale the smoke and, um, and actually have that as a pain and purification as well. Um, but the smoke also has been used many times to, um, ward off evil. And, um, that's why they would put it in fires. Um, a lot of people I've actually, uh, witnessed someone doing this once and it was pretty cool. And they just throw amber into this big fire and it kind of like lights up and it kind of, and it's all about, you know, kind of warding off all the evil that might be lingering around. So um, Amber's a wonderful filter, purifi purifier, filter, anything. It's, um, its actual properties are used for that purposes. The um, healing aspects when it was used in the, in the powder form. And, when, and I mean, I guess people still use it in um, powder form. I've tried using it as an elixir and putting it in water and it didn't do very well. So um, I do make... Uh, elixirs, but I only use tumbled and I actually don't, I don't even know if they tumble amber. I'm not really sure all mine is raw. So I'm not really sure if you can get tumbled amber. Um, but somehow they made it into an elixir from the powder. I know that. So um, I personally just don't know how to do it, but it's been used to help with uh, stomach digestion, um, infections, very highly used uh, against viruses. Back in the 1870s, they were using this as against viruses. Um, it's been used to cure uh, blindness and deaf, um, people that had deafness. And um, it's just, now this is all stuff that I've researched. I haven't personally seen this, but this is been recorded many, many different times. So um, that's the information that I'm reiterating here. So if you do, if you are able to use it as an elixir, which I am going to look into this a little bit more instead of just ruining one of my chunks of amber by putting it in. Uh, but if you do use it as an elixir, you can spray it in your space and that will actually purify your space. So if you can kind of think of it like a purifying filter for either your spiritual energy, your physical environment, and even your mental state. Amber is the perfect tool to use for depression. It's actually nicknamed the grieving tool. It's been known to be very helpful with uh, the mourning process, with grieving. It kind of goes straight at your solar plexus. So it's able to 
bring about a, an internal happiness when your external environment is otherwise. Anything, um, any of the yellow type of crystals you can um, put on your solar plexus chakra and that can help with depression. Orange calcite's really good for that as well. But amber is um, nicknamed the grieving tool. It is a perfect tool to use um, when you're feeling sad and depressed because it has great light energy and impurities and impurifications in it. And it helps with um, your overall well-being, the detoxification of things that are not doing your body well. So it's that beautiful life force protector. That's I just I totally believe that that's what it is. It's a life force protector. And it provides such a cleansing and detoxification of your mental, spiritual, and physical self that you're just able to move along your day. So it increases the vitality. So if Amber's come into your awareness today, I, I really hope that you have a piece with you. If you do, unlike, say, uh, malachite, which I strongly suggest you never wear as jewelry, amber is one of those pieces that I strongly recommend you do wear as jewelry. It's a beautiful, beautiful light force to be carrying around with you and... Um, and helping your gold shield about you and letting it be a beautiful uh, light energy for others to be able to uh, feel and absorb as well. So you can't go wrong with having amber on your body and then having it also be more of a gold, golden light around you. So it just increases your aura and your, um, your whole aura brightness and expansion of being able to help and heal this earth. So thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you very much. I wish you much love and abundance and peace and very vibrant energy with this amber. Peace and love. Thank you.